Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys a complete tutorial of how to download and install Google Chrome. So I just realized today that I have not actually made a tutorial on how to download and install the browser. And I figured that this is a pretty simple tutorial and I do try and appeal to a wide variety of computer users on this channel. So I thought I'd make a brief video just showing you guys how to do it if you're unaware of how to do it beforehand. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. Now most people should have an E in their taskbar. So this is actually Microsoft Edge and Windows 10. If you see an E on Windows 8 or Windows 7, it was definitely in an Explorer. But it doesn't really even matter. You just want to open up whatever you would normally get on to the internet with. And then I prefer using Google to search, so I'm going to go off of Google. So if you went off of something like Yahoo or AOL to conduct this search we're about to do, you might get a little bit different search results. So I'm just letting you guys be warned about that. But if you can get the Google, that's even better. So what we're going to do is type in Google Chrome. And then I'm going to hit Enter, like you normally would to conduct a search. Should be something near the top if you are using ads, it doesn't really even matter too much. It should, even if you have ads enabled or not, you should be able to access it pretty quickly. Now, most of the links should work and get us directly to the Google domain. You want to make sure you're downloading it from google.com. You want to make sure you're downloading it from the official publisher. It's the safest and best way of downloading it. So, I'm going to download the link from Chrome Web Browser right here. The other links would take you there as well, but I'm just doing what I would prefer to do. And once you get to this page, you want to click on the Download Now button. At the time of this recording, it's in a blue box and it says Download Now in white text. It might be different by the time you guys watch this video, so just keep that in mind. But I'm going to select Download Now. And if you want to help make Google Chrome better by automatically sending usage statistics and crash reports, you can keep this box checked. I personally uncheck it, but that's a completely personal preference you'll have to make on your own. And now I'm going to select Accept and Install. Depending on what web browser you're using, it should ask you what you want to do with this file. You want to just click on Save or Run if you have the option to. So I'm going to save the file at first. And then once it says it's finished downloading, you want to click on Run. If you're using Internet Explorer or Edge, the process we went through is very similar. And that's probably where most of the people that are watching my video are using. So you might get a user account control window asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You want to select Yes. At this point, we can close out of our web browser. It's no longer needed. So we're just going to let this browser download. It will take a moment, so be patient. And there you go guys, once you've done installing it, it should be pretty quick. It should open up the web browser as well, which is very nice. And you can see it does create a shortcut icon for you over on your desktop. So if we were to close out of our web browser here, you can see that we no longer have the icon in the active taskbar where my mouse is. So if I wanted to put an icon or pin an icon to the taskbar here, what you can do is actually multiple things, but I'm going to do what I think is pretty simple. And that would be to go to the Start menu by left-clicking on it, and then type in Google Chrome. Best match it comes up should say Google Chrome Desktop App. What you want to do now is right-click on this, and then left-click on Pin to Taskbar. And you can see now we have an icon down here. We can close out of here. If you wanted to unpin it, all you have to do is right-click on the icon, and left click on unpin and it'll get rid of it from the taskbar. But now, here you go, you have a couple different icons and ways to get to Google Chrome pretty quickly. So I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.